It's like, like, it wasn't crazy that we filmed the UFOs. It wasn't crazy we went up here because of the UFOs. And then literally like two weeks into the cave living, the Pentagon says UFOs are real for the first time ever. And we're like, okay, all that kind of made a lot of sense. And that was in 2017. And so ever since then, it's just been on a journey and we've been changing ever, ever since. Uh, yeah, we for real got stalked. Day one, I mean, we had, we had, I mean, they're calling social services. They still call them all the time. They already just know who we are. I mean, they investigated. Now it's just, now we just go in this file where you guys are just annoying them at this point. What you're doing every time you do that, then, you know, social services might call you too, but I doubt it. <laughs> I think they just put your complaints in the thing that already handled, case closed, because there's nothing going, you don't have anything. All you have is what you thought you had from what we gave you six months ago. And you still keep doing it, but yet we're still here. It, Yoda teaches something very valuable to us, is that that love, like, like fear and courage, you know, those things are, are not things that you strive for. You, you attain those things by doing certain things. Little things like being greedy, jealous, selfish, those all lead you to, to those are all acts of fear. Those all end you in that direction. So my, the point is, is that Love, hate, fear, courage, those things like are on a razor's edge. They're on the same side of a coin. You know what I mean? It's like you have love here, you have hate here. So you can't have one without the other. You just have to choose which one you want to do, love or hate. Now, the people who said they loved us, they didn't love us. They, they, they were haters who pretended to love us. And, you know, I mean, give me, listen, it was only six, it was probably six weeks tops. I knew it, but, you, you know, you give any business six weeks to, like, flush out, like, bad employees, don't you? Especially if they're just starting. So you, have, so you have love and hate. So if you discover that the people you have that are supposed to, you know, be producing love are actually full of hate, you sense that right away. Now, I wasn't sure who was what, but, you know, there was a lot of finger pointing, so I just got rid of everybody. And what you found was, is that, boom, it was like Othello. It was like, boom, all the haters were here, show the colors, and all the, all the people that loved were over here. And only had four people that, that stood up for us out of all the 15. And, and for those four people, I'm just like, whoa. I, I didn't expect any of them to, but they did. And so that's all that matters to me. And so, just so you guys know, the people that are in here hating on us, it's just the nature of what we do. As content creators, we create stuff. They love you. They, they all love you, but they choose to hate you they could easily choose to love you. The reason why you're seeing them is because they love you. If they really hated you, they wouldn't even be here. They'd be watching some other channel, right? So if, if you're a creator and they're, they're just doing what they're doing to me and just hating me, I know it's because they love me. It's just that it's like, it's kind of like, do you ever have, you ever have somebody have a crush on you at school, but then you didn't have a crush back? And then all of a sudden, they became like your little like snarky enemy out there. You're like, what the heck? Why are you spreading all this shit about me? Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, I thought like, like two months ago you got a crush on me, you know, whatever. But you see, it's kind of that, that sort of thing. And it, it's okay. What I'm, what, I, what I'm saying is that it's love. Oh, she has the mic on? Oh, no. Have you guys been listening to me or her?